Hi, this is Hope Kaya of Santa Fe Dash WebDesign.com and a short tutorial on how to update a web page in Joomla when the JCE content editor, the Joomla content editor extension has been installed. So this assumes your website was built using Joomla, which you can learn about at Joomla.org, and that the extension JCE has been added. So to do that, you go to extensions and type JCE and scroll down until you see the JCE extension. So it just makes your WYSIWYG editor a little bit better, uh, or a lot better. And then you, it's free, but you can pay for some extra plugins that also make it a lot better. So I've done that on this site, which is ecotourismpuertorico.com. You can see I have a bunch of tabs open right now. And this is the website, and we're going to learn how to update a page in this site. And so there's the front end, which is ecotourismpuertorico.com, and then the back end, which is also ecotourismpuertorico.com, but it has administrator after a forward slash. And you just put your username and password in. Of course, you'll, you'll be going to your own uh, back end of your website. And you log in. And if you go to the article manager, Joomla calls pages articles. You'll see a whole list of your pages, your articles. And if you click on one and you get inside, you will see that there are a whole bunch of icons here that are, there are many more than there would be if you didn't install this, this JCE content editor. So basically you just put your cursor in and you paste some text. If it's, if you've formatted your text in Word, you can click on this before you paste. Of course, that means you've had to copy it out of Word and then click this and use Control V or if you're on a Mac Command V to paste what you've copied um, or you can start just start typing um, like let's say you want to send somebody from this page to um, to another page like your ecotourism pictures page. It's really good for search engine optimization to take a phrase that um, is actually being searched for that you've researched and link it to a page that is optimized for that. And if you go back to the actual website, you'll see we have an ecotourism pictures page and we chose that phrase consciously so that um, because people are searching for it. And here you can actually go to um, a slideshow if you like, or you can just forward through yourself um, to the different pictures. And you can stop it here. Uh, so let's say you want to link to this page using the keyword phrase ecotourism pictures, uh, which is great for search engines to do that. So we're back in the back end. You can see I've got a bunch of tabs open here and I'm just going from one to the other by clicking on the tab. Um, so ecotourism pictures I've highlighted and I'm going to click on this little link here. And I'm going to go to the menu because I'm going to link to a page that is, is listed in the menu then at the top of the page which I just showed you. So I'm clicking the main menu because you could have more than one. In this case, we only have one. It's a small site. We're going to find the ecotourism pictures page and click on it and choose insert. So you can see it's high, it's blue now and it's underlined. And if we save this, go back to the front end, go to the beach page, which we were working on just now. Uh, you can see it's here. Oh no, actually we were working on Casa del Mundo. Um, see it here? And you can see it's green. Why is it green? 
Well, if your web designer knows how to set up style sheets, then you don't really have to do much styling in the back end because whatever you do is going to be reflected. Uh, like if you make it a link, all the links on this site are green and bold and they become underlined when you roll your cursor over them. Uh, so you don't really, you shouldn't have to worry too much about formatting when you're in the back end. For instance, if you had a quote in this particular site, and you wanted to add it to a web page, I'm going back into the back end, I'm going to uh, click on the About Us, and I was going to start working here. Um, I'll just pretend I'm, I'm doing a quote. Sana and Papo are the most welcoming, amazing, posts you could imagine in the most amazing tropical retreat you could hope for. And then um, highlight that and in this case I'm just going to click on the site this makes it into a citation, these two quotes. Now I'm inserting it and all you see here is that it's in italic, right? You don't, and you don't see anything different than that. Um, and I'll, I'll um, go back up here and save it, okay? So now you go back to Casa del Mundo, go to About Us, scroll to the bottom and see how that got all this stuff got added that's the CSS cascading style sheet formatting that your web designer can do for you if you can't do it for yourself so that you don't have to worry about that whenever you do a quote um, it would show up this way okay so basically I've shown you how to play around with the back end in terms of article um, you can you can click on an article you can you can bold it you can italicize. Uh, you don't want to do too much with font size and font family or styles because the site's going to start getting to look really disjointed. But bold and italic is fine. Citations are fine. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to make a pic how to add a picture because this site has a sort of special way of doing that. Okay, enjoy, Juma.